Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Following on from my last picks video, I'm back with another one, but this time I've picked some of my favorite spring pieces from Reese at the moment. So it's got a little bit more of a premium edge to it, this one. So there's definitely a few less items on the rail this time, but these are all items that I definitely think I'll get a lot of wear out of over the coming season and hopefully into further seasons as well. As usual with these types of videos, you will find everything linked in the description box below. So if you want to pick anything up from this rail here or even what I'm wearing, you'll find it linked in the description box below. This series is all about picking the best pieces that are gonna have the most longevity in your wardrobe for the coming seasons and hopefully into the next year's seasons as well. I personally prefer shopping at premium high street stores rather than high street and also high end. I find that I get the best quality for the best price and items that look amazing as well. So I'm really, really excited to show you what I picked up from Reese and I hope that you're going to enjoy this video as well. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So first up on the rail, I have this white jumpsuit from Reese. Now I've already worn this and it was basically because I put it on and I loved it instantly. I'd been looking at it on the website for a while and I was there's just something that wasn't right about it. And sometimes I do find that photography on internet shopping is the biggest thing and it's so hard to get right. And I didn't feel like Reese got it right with the pictures that showed this jumpsuit because in person, it is so much more beautiful. I think possibly, I mean, for me, I'm a bit shorter. I know that everyone thinks that I'm taller, but I'm not. So I think that their, their models that they use are quite tall, so they look really short on the model. And I have a few things that I consider when I'm buying a jumpsuit. First of all, it's the length. I don't want it swinging around my ankles. And second of all, I always look for a wide leg. It doesn't matter whether it's cropped or long, I always go for a wide leg. Then I always want it to cinch me in at my waist because that's the most flattering silhouette for jumpsuits. And this one was kind of ticking all of the boxes, but I was looking at it on the website. And I was like, it's just something not right. So I ordered it thinking I was gonna have to send it back and fell absolutely head over heels in love with it. The weight of the fabric is actually quite heavy, but it's nice and loose and lightweight. I wore this when I had friends over the other evening. I was super comfortable in it, even though I looked really nice and put together. People came to the door, they were like, oh, you've made an effort. Not that that's like against the grain, but we were having a cozy evening, so they came in their pajamas. But I honestly felt like I was in my pajamas in this. So not only does it look great, it's comfortable as well. Now for Reese, items can be quite expensive. You're looking more in the 200 to 300 pound mark, but this is one of those items that isn't gonna date. And I see this with quite chunky gold accessories. I'd love to pop a vintage Chanel belt with this, some strappy gold sandals, and possibly a Chanel classic flap. I think that'll look extremely timeless. And next up, we have another jumpsuit, and another jumpsuit that I wasn't sure was gonna look right. This is more of a blush tone jumpsuit with big, flowy sleeve. It's collarless and it's buttoned through, but then it's got this gorgeous bow to cinch it in at the waist. On the website, again, it looked quite short. So I took a risk and I ordered it and fell in love with it. The tone of this nude is absolutely beautiful. It's almost got kind of like a, a blush nude, but warm gold kind of feel to it. It actually reminds me of the flowers that I had in my hair on my wedding. And again, when I put it on, it was love at first sight. It's got the wide leg, it's got to the floor length, it cinches you in at the waist, and then it's got this beautiful button up design, which you can wear slightly open or completely buttoned up to the top. It's super comfortable. So in this style, you can wear it during the day and not feel kind of like, oh, sometimes wearing jumpsuits, it can feel quite tight and restrictive, especially if you go for a tight sort of corset but these ones are incredibly comfortable. Like I said with the previous one, it's not gonna date. You're gonna get the wear out of this even into the autumn months. So I think you could really get some good cost per wear for these kinds of jumpsuits. In the summer months, you can go with white accessories and then as you transition into the winter months, you could pop this with really deep plum accessories. It would look really nice. So that is that jumpsuit. Next up, we have this gorgeous floaty shirt. The fabric itself absolutely won me over. I love this kind of earthy but floral design. It's so not your typical spring summer florals, which I know we all kind of roll our eyes when we say, what's in this season? Florals. Yeah, I know. <laughs> not that I'm wearing florals or anything, but this was a really different twist 
on your typical spring summer florals and I imagine this teamed with creams like buttery soft creams a lot of linen I'm still on the hunt for my linen trousers but this teamed with some gorgeous linen trousers and some sliders some leather sliders like the Hermes ones will look absolutely beautiful you can roll the sleeves up you can keep them long I like to go for a sort of one side tucked in and one side tucked out so that it doesn't look too put together I also like to wear the neck quite open not too open but quite open and I love this fabric so much that I even bought a dress in the fabric as well. And this is the dress. It looks kind of wrap front and it's got a more relaxed fit to the top half of it so it isn't tight, really comfortable. I will mention that if you have a slightly larger bust it may come up tight across your chest area so it may be an idea to size up. This is more of a midi dress but it's got this really beautiful fluted almost tulip style to the hem and then at the back it's got this gorgeous kind of lattice effect which um, keeps the dress in place but also doesn't make you feel too on show. I wore this to a barbecue with my parents on, when was it, Monday, on Bank Holiday Monday, and, and it was the perfect option, and everyone complimented me on how lovely my dress was. Again, I love the fabric. The fabric is just this different take on spring summer florals, and I really feel like they've nailed it. This will also look gorgeous underneath a sort of cream blazer. I think possibly one of my Balmain blazers will look really nice thrown over this if you're, say, going to a wedding or a christening this spring summer. This could work as a really lovely option. And for me, this works really well because I love creams and nudes but sometimes if you're going to a wedding you can't necessarily wear those because it can clash with the bride and you don't ever want to do that so this is a really nice option to incorporate those earthy tones but not step on the bride's toes in any way <laughs> next up we have this skirt and i had been eyeing this up for so long on the website when it comes to the sort of colder days that we have here in england because as much as we have a lovely summer i do always support the British summer. Sometimes we can have some cold days and I think that this will look lovely with an oversized knit just kind of tucked in on one side and some beautiful sandals as well. This is kind of like a pleated style skirt with the geometric design through the middle. I actually really like this navy. It's kind of a purpley navy, more of like a midnight blue rather than navy, I would say. In fact, even with these Manolos, this looks so nice. If you're noticing that there is a little bit of a mark on the bottom, unfortunately, this kind of poked its way out of the Reese box. So I will have to take this to be dry cleaned before I can wear it. But I wanted to show this to you anyway because I think it's absolutely beautiful. There is also another sort of design in this. So I'll also link that down below as well in case any of you like that one better. And then finally I have two incredibly timeless items. This pair here is more of a low-waisted linen style. And I imagine this with cream shirts just tucked in loosely or even camis and some really nice sandals as well. Whereas these ones I think would go really, really nicely with, with the floral shirt that I showed you earlier. So I'll probably pair those with those. But these are a must have if you like the smarter side of things. If you're not really feeling the ripped denim on that day and you want a smarter short, these two are the perfect option and they are so, so flattering. So I really, really think you're gonna see a lot more of these in my wardrobe over the next few months. So those are my picks from Reese, and I really hope that you like what I've picked out. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite, if you can pick, because I really don't think I could pick just one. I think I'd probably pick about five. <laughs> also, if you are new, please do hit the subscribe button down below. It means so much to me that you want to come back and watch more videos. So if you enjoyed this, please do hit that button. And also, if you enjoyed this video, it is such an amazing indicator if you could hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you want to see more of these videos. Other than that, I hope you've enjoyed it and if there's any particular stores you want to see any kind of pics video from me, let me know in the comments below because I would love, love, love to do some different stores and um, see what I can pick up. Other than that, I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.